Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to start the main quest, Bolts from the Blue. So without further ado, let's get started. Otto, is now a good time? <laughs> it's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Hmm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please <sighs> oblige her. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you on about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little... The storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Shouldn't you be getting some rest here? <laughs> You took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. I know that I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. It's sick to see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? What do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. 
Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. <sighs> Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Okay, so... I think I was wrong. Vivian is not Sid's daughter. I think Mid is Sid's daughter. Cool. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Jill looked white as a sheet when they thought. Was wondering where you'd got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot? Won't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment... It's paid. Hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Just gonna look through some of this stuff, see if I need any of it. Not really. Need some more potions. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. Is that all? <laughs> Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you. From Mid. She requires certain tools. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. What's she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. <sighs> if I ever am. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Where is he? Oh, he's down by the pier. It's all right. See, there's nothing. Could do with a good oil in this, could. Should be enough to keep us. How do, Master Sid? Bardolph. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can. But I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I'd gladly spare Mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. 
It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolf. <laughs> Least I could do. There's a lot of stuff I have to look at. Clive, what brings you to the rest? Our uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. I meant to go to the map, not options. Oh, uh, that's not too far. Come on. We'll hop on Ambrosia. Try to get there a little faster. Just making sure we're going the right way. And the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Building a workshop, you say? Well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I, before we go? Of course. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit them. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could, uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. This shouldn't take long. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
More enemies? Come on now. Oh, just a wyvern. That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Oh, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Though it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. Soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. I'm gonna explore just a little bit here. I want to see if there's any treasure chests around and whatnot up there. Probably um, a boss fight or something. Or maybe uh, a bounty will be over there. Not sure I'm gonna be doing bounties and the next episode or not definitely not this episode Ma? Pa? oh he was actually
quite a few chests around here. But I have a feeling there's going to be an enemy over here. Maybe. Maybe not. There probably will be a bounty over here. It just kind of seems like an arena. Let's head back to the hideaway. The little ones have been up to their old tricks again. Shouldn't you be getting some rest in? <laughs> all right, Clive. You've all done then. I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant! Thanks, Clive. Is there... anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait! That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Ah, Clive. Talia. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Ah, oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Torgor. He must have found something. We will start the side quests in the next episode because it looks like we have two at the moment. And we do also have a bounty. I did check that out. Yeah. What's everyone but I'm about? not sure if we'll do the bounty in the next episode because there's only one bounty. I would like to try to do multiple at a time. Jill looked white as a sheet when they brought her back. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Where did you get him, like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and... Well, seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive... I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frostwolf. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other... You're saying that Jill granted Torgal his powers? 
<laughs> what? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Torgal and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. There you are! I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. <laughs> Not even going to comment on the whole tomes and Torgal. Yeah. Phrasing, man. <sighs> Ain't it brilliant? It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm going to work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Now that that's settled. I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. <sighs> I wish Miss Middle. I think I'll wait till Mid's away to take a tour of her. Day. Let's come over to Desiree. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Come to claim your just desserts. You earned this. Cool, Cleric's Medallion. Pretty sure that uh, will let us heal for more with our potions. Best of luck out there, Sid. Let's talk to Vivian. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? For your trouble, 
It was a pleasure, in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron? Clive, my boy! Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favourite uncle is here! <laughs> The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. Twinside stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmechs empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, your highness. May, May the, the blessing, blessing of, of the crystals, crystals go, go with, with you. you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both- You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, Your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir. Prepare for battle. But, sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. If 
that is your wish, your radiance. I shall depart at once. May Gregor forgive you. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? Only one way to find out. God, I hate that woman. I hate her so fucking much. <laughs> she is the worst. She is the worst. But with that being said, I think this is where we're going to end the video for today. So I want to start by telling everybody, thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button and let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off. Mid's finished outfitting her little workshop I hear. With a little help from Sid, of course. Of course. I 